Okay. How's the audio now? I was talking to myself like a jackass, I bet. Let's see here. Okay. Okay, now it's working. Great. I spoke a lot, but nobody heard. Just like real life. Your pee pee hurt? Oh, I can't help you there. Nah, the game is just like a uh, little bit of background noise. I had turned off the music. Uh, oh, fuck me. I had turned off the music because I was grinding at one point. And the particular music in that particular area was like, meh. Let's see here. Yeah, here we go. It shouldn't be that loud either. There we go. Yeah, I was talking to myself. I was saying your pee pee hurt. The best thing you could do is go to the doctor. But at the same time, at the same time, you got to make sure. Because one time, fun fact, Wolfpack tells all. Okay. One time I had a pimple on you know, my penis after I slept with the girls. So I went to the doctor. And it turns out, they did a little test. They did the test, right? Turns out, you know, I was just panicking. Doctor says, don't worry about it. Just a pimple. You're, 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 you're all right, buddy. And I'm like, whoo. <sighs> Thank God. But, but, hey, Eagles, thanks for stopping by. But, the test, you got to keep in mind, the test to find out whether you have something isn't to walk in the park. You don't pee pee into a cup. They stick something up your urethra. <sighs> so keep it clean, boys. Keep it clean, my friends. Hey, yo, we got Necro, we got the gentlest of gentle Tarks and the most devourers. The devourer of all eagles. Urethra. <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> yeah, you have that uh <laughs> you have that look. <laughs> yeah, you get that timing thing. <laughs> you should do like George Costanza and as soon as you make a witty comment or something like that and people start laughing, you go, That's it, I'm out and they leaves on a high note. <laughs> Alright, so let's get our shit together. Let's fucking beat the damn bosses of this game and get at it. So we're going to do something. Uh, welcome company. It's always welcome. Accelerator. Tips. Opus. Great sword expertise. And we're going to go with the knight instead of the car boost. Uh, equipment. Uh, yes, we go with that. As far as the cap goes, we're going to get... That the Solomon's ring, we don't need that right now. We're gonna take the black belt, plunderer's ring, we don't need as well, but it might be the best thing we have in general. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I mean, for that's not enough. You know what? Why not? The power ring is just drunk. I don't know how much I'm going to be using my greatsword, but it's just drunk. Uh, might as well do that. What does this hit with? It hits with... Slash, Holy, and... What is that? Fear? Curse? Hmm... They were busy with their big, big plans. Who? Yeah, Desiree. <laughs> Desiree. I had to do some shit to get this. <clears throat> I had to uh, get the sword that is upgraded from the fire. Uh, great sword, the ice great sword, and the thunder great sword. You combine those to get one sword, and then you use that sword with a bunch of rare items to get this sword. 
So yeah. And it's not even one of those 8-bit or 32-bit coin weapons. Cause shit. Costanza's your favorite? Yeah, me too. I li uh, like in, in comedies, I like the most depraved dudes. I think so Alexander was funny. Yeah, he, he was. He was, a he was a really good actor. Um, the only thing is uh, he was only known for Seinfeld. And any time they saw him in a different uh, role, you just saw him as Costanza. Which was great, but Alexander has... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, Richards is great, but he was going to be great regardless. He was meant to be that way. He was written to be the lovable goof. Exactly, yes. Happy to hear that the sequel for the game isn't in work. But really, I didn't know that. Usually hate to hear about sequels, but this is a special case. Agreed. I love this game, but I am going to say it does have its problems. It does. It, it's not perfect. Um, I think the art design was fine, <clears throat> but they decided to put this, like, not necessarily in all parts, but, mo like, the creature designs, and, like, in the fire area, the lava area, S they chose to, like, put this bloom on shit, especially in the background, where it just looks ugly, it makes the textures look ugly. Like, if you look at my knight right here, my spectral knight, he's got this weird highlight. Like, if, like if all the enemies and certain textures are, like, covered in this oil, or this weird lighting highlight decision, and I just don't like it. Oh, shit. Music too loud? Shit. <laughs> How's that? That should be better. <clears throat> um, but I was saying, yeah, th this game is great. But I have to recognize, I have to be honest, it does have its problems. It, it, it really does. Um, better? Thank you. Um, I was saying, some of the enemy designs, are, the design itself is great. Uh, but this decision... If you look at my Spectral Knight, you see how it's got this sheen? Like if it's covered in oil or something, or it's got this weird highlight. I think kind of, um, I think it looks ugly, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, it just looks like they're covered in some shitty oil. I had this problem uh, with uh, Kingdoms of Amalar, great game. Uh, it does get a little repetitive when you when you know the skill tree and you know it's coming up um, And you know how strong you can get and what it's gonna look like once you try out everything It does get a little bit little bit monotonous I'm not gonna lie. That's a game that does have its problems, too, but I've found overall enjoyable uh, This game completely enjoyable great game uh, But this decision I just don't like it. It just looks ugly uh, some of the backgrounds don't use utilize it well. Um, like I'll say in the fire area, it looks like shit. Um, there's just lots of things, uh, little things. Like why the fuck can't Johannes be in the same fucking room as the vendor? Why? Why not? No, we got to transition between these two guys over and over. It's not bad now because they have the accelerator, but before I had the accelerator, I'd be I'd be fucking Bagdash just to get there. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, I think the artist, which was the name, the same from Sultan, wasn't in charge of everything. Um, but maybe it was the budget thing. I don't think it was the budget thing because I think everything looks good. The design of the beast, the uh, monsters are excellent. I like them. I mean, a lot of them are ripped off from Sultan, but I don't care. They're drawn well. Their design is well. It's just that this decision, if you look at my spectral knight, if I could see its hard outline, if I can see the lines in his armor, it'd be much better than this weird highlight that's on him. This weird sheen. Um, that's the issue I have. Um, some of the grindiness, if you wanna... If you wanna max everything out, yeah. Yeah, that, that's another thing. Um, the fact that it... 
keeps going, like Necro says, it keeps going after it should be over, and it keeps going, and it keeps going some more. Bitch! Fuck you, Necro. <laughs> well, how about the things that are not spectral? The things that are not spectral also have the same highlight. Bitch. <laughs> got you. No, no, you got me. But Bloodbringer's not a spectral, and you see he has the same highlight. Uh. Oh. Got me. <laughs> no, um, that you would get me if <laughs> it won't want if um, only the spectral um, enemies had that highlight chain. But if you look at here, Bloodbringer, I believe Bloodbringer is a physical thing, and it's got you can see the lines. So that'd be great if all the spectral ones were the only ones that had that sheen. But instead, it's just random. There's some regular enemies that have that sheen, then there's enemies that don't have that sheen. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what... It, it, it's more of a decision issue than a... than a budget issue, if you have me. Those... I don't know why they did that. <laughs> yeah. But let's beat the boss. Let's fucking beat this game. I'm tired of this shit. Um... Not completely tired of this shit, but tired of this shit. Uh, coronation gown, is that the best thing I got? It is. Valkyrie equipment is another thing. I did miss uh, the Valkyrie sword, which is up by the gambler room. Uh, we'll worry about that on a new game plus. Uh, let's save our build. And then beat boss. Now I keep forgetting to have the infinite jump. Yeah, these enemies are nothing. A little too high. Alright. Got the head bonk in effect. Uh, wh where do we kill her? She is in the glacial tomb. That's right. Alright, instead of test opias, we might want to go with the directional with infernal breath. It's one rank though. What the fuck? Do I want this as my attack though? It's going to be infinite. It doesn't... My, my MP refills. <laughs> Favorite sword in Aria of Sorrow was the Came Solace because it basically covered the whole screen and it was effective against almost everything. I don't, don't remember, is that the one, the really huge one that does this big huge arc and you don't actually hold it in your hand, it flies around you? That might be it. Um, what I can do... You know what? It's been good to me. Bitch, where are you? Okay, where the fuck am I going? Where's the where's the boss fight? Oh, it's down here. Okay. Can I go down there? Fuck. Yeah, go all the way around. Better make me play the game. God damn it, game. Leave her alone. Okay. She just... She just chills out. That was ice. Ice one! That's pretty cool if you ask me. I'm gonna do when I fight the very last boss. I'm gonna 
give it a shot so and try and beat it's the last so boss good. with uh, toy shoes, squeaky boots. Because in the end, the uh, the boss is the main, the, the super last boss is easier than the free boss. God, asshole. Shit. Bastards. Viper sword. Do it, smoke crack. Who's got the viper sword? Yeah, uh, like a huge Final Fantasy style blue sword. Yeah, yes. That's when you're almost 180, and the Viper Sword is, was also good. Weaker, but can hit multiple times. Um, what carries me in this game is 90, uh, I say 85, 90% of the game. Once you get this weapon, which you can get very early, it'll get you through most of the damn game. Pretty weak, but hits multiple times. Um, this is basically the Chrysogrin from... Soten, but a mini one. Chrysogrim deals much more damage, and it's much more range, but this is basically the same thing. Oh fuck, I missed the same spot. Bitch, quit your Oh, I forgot to change the... <laughs> I changed the voice acting to... Japanese instead of English. I honestly like the English voice acting in this game. It's very good. Viper sword, do you smoke crank? I don't get that either. Is there a crack smoking device called Viper? Hmm? Viper is a rapper. Oh. One of his most famous albums called You Cowards, Do You Even Smoke Crack? <laughs> Typo Yule, he smokes a lot of crack. Gotcha. Gotcha. Man, I've been listening to a lot of fucking MF Doom lately. Like, I used to like MF Doom, but just I don't know why. Lately, I've been on that MF Doom kick. Rat snitches. Fool. Telling all you them just business. Made your last mistake. Taking the stand, well. being their own side with. Do you see the perpetrator? Yeah, I'm right here. Good luck, Miriam. I drove the stickiest. My holes the thickest. You may possess the blade now, but without him to wield it, it poses no real threat. He released 1500 albums? What the fuck? Are a bunch of edits of his. most of his songs that are already made? What the fuck? Was he like non known, made a whole bunch of albums, and all of a sudden he blew up? Son of a bitch, I can hear it. Got him. Uh, so I live next to a um, Rosaka, which is a waterway. Um, my town is called the Rosaka City of Lights. There's lots of lots of water, pretty waterways uh, in my town. But with those waterways, it brings a lot of possums. A possum got into my attic. I heard the fucker up there last night. I put a trap and I, I, can, I heard the trap go off and I can hear the fucker in there. Oh. So tomorrow, take him in the cage, do a little drive and release him out there. Now people knew who he is, got his start. A rap group with famous pregnant women mugger. Big Floyd. Ah, gotcha. Didn't knew there were vaping pens called Lost Mary's, something I learned that's thanks to Bossman Jack. 
Why do I not know this <laughs> initial rap? Lost Mary Disposables. I have bought quite a few of those. I don't. I've. I don't really like vaping. That's crazy. I think I've seen his mugshot before. I'll check it out later. Yeah, I gotta listen to that. Just because I like to be. I like to be what the kids call hip. You know, a lot of guys my age are just like so stuck in their ways and so stuck in the oldies. It doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, yeah, post it up in the memes channel. Sweet. I'll check it out. I always check your Discord. So I'll, I'll definitely see it. I think I post on your Discord more than mine. <laughs> Alright, let's get this fucking win. Let's, re uh, let's revenge this bitch for Zangetsu. And let's make it extra difficult and to smoke a cigarette while we're doing it. <laughs> I like to put arbitrary... Uh, Hankos on myself. You used Jeebel, and now you will pay. How dare you use my money? All right. <laughs> you rebel. Let's go. Where are you? Die. Wait, where is my? Oh my God. I decided to use Tepsopius, which is Tex Morphus, but instead, since we're up here, he melts her, right? She's got curse on me? What a bitch. As soon as I curse her, but as soon as I curse her, I'm going to do a heal. Wait, I didn't have to? She's dead already? What a hope. Oh, no, not dead. Alright, now let's get healed up. See, yeah, you says I don't think it should be banned, but vaping is definitely way worse than smoking. Tart says actually they're about the same. Eagle says. They do seem popular because of their flavors, I suppose. Vaping is slightly less toxins, but not by much. Yeah, we can agree that they're just both are bad. I mean, it's nicotine, but... I thought I bought potions. I uh, could have swore I bought potions. Um, either I got curry, chicken curry, I got Sifu. Sifu! Uh, we also do have ether. I used them up. What the fuck? All right. Vala! Vala! Even, this, but even without, uh, okay, even without uh, stocking up on our consumables, we can get this done. I've been doing this lately, ending up with one hit point and still getting the win. I should have saved. Should have saved for a welcome company. It's all right. Ah, oh, goddamn it! Still here, we bitch. Let's go. Easy, GG. Well, you don't look as cool as when you smoke a classic cigarette, like from movies and TV shows. This is true. There are some younger women that do like a guy that smokes a cigarette, or at least seen it. I'm not gonna lie. I've had younger girls say it. Oh, the first time I saw you, you were smoking that cigarette. You look so nice and mature. Okay. Let me see your ID. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Seriously, fuck me, let me see that. <laughs> no, I think I'm joking. Let, no. <laughs> let me see that fucking ID, please. Thank you. Invert. I ain't catching no 10 to 20. 
I don't really like girls very young, but eh, when it happens, it happens. Alright, so we beat that. We got the... What? What's it called? The, uh... Dimension Shift. So we can get all the unlockables inside the game that we've been missing. All the hidden stuff, all the hidden doors. Um... You didn't need media to tell you smoke, yeah? Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a whole... Oh, wow. That sword has no chill. It doesn't. <laughs> it keeps going and going and going. It's the energy of your sword. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, there's a whole blank, let's say, blank gent of woman smoking. Yeah. It's funny how media has convinced us that smoking is cool. You didn't need media to tell you. I mean, I smoke because it feels good. And I'm not a cool, as cool as fuck. <laughs> uh, Joe Camel believes in you. <laughs> he does. He does. I'm not gonna lie, as a kid I thought Joe Camel looked cool. <laughs> In his leather jacket. Shooting pool. <laughs> But he didn't make me smoke, you know. I smoked because I wanted to. I like the uh, flavor of a cigarette. Alright, so did we beat the game? Where the fuck? Where am I going? So, bitch dead. Now we fight the main, main boss. Did she run off? Oh, well, she ran off to the moon. That's right. Alright, so let's waste on the fuck out of here. And let's kill our two um, optional bosses with the millionaire key and the fight where we fight the Belmont. It'll be an easy GG. Two easy GGs. We're just strong right now. That, that's all it comes down to. Fuck you, Johannes. What are we transmuting this time? Uh, you know what? I'll go with this. No, I didn't want to do that, actually. It's alright. Is it alchemic? No. Nine pieces of gold. That's so fucking. So much bullshit. Where is it? There's one that switches. It turns one shard into another. Where is this bitch? Well, oh, fuck that. No? Alright then. Eh, <laughs> fuck that. I'll go with this. I can only hold nine. I'll go with this. Very elixir. Go with this. I'll buy three of these actually, or make I'll go with three this. of them out of my high potions. It's all right. We're good. We can I always like buy. I remember a poster that said only losers use drugs, and it's just cool people like Jimi Hendrix or James Dean smoking. <laughs> 
That's true. Cigarettes are are less healthy than fucking marijuana. Or somebody that occasionally takes a bump of coke, they're not gonna die from that or get chronic illness. It's all about personal responsibility, and and for the people that do have a problem, it's about getting them help. Wait, did I sell or did I buy? What would you like to buy? I fucking sold. Is what an asshole. Is it let's no, we're stuck though. Alright, let's go beat the game. <laughs> Again? <laughs> I know that that was a mistake. I thought I had it on purchase. It was on sale. My bad. Necro. You know I do stupid things. You know this man. It's my code of honor, my raison de tetra. That's French. Uh, let's see. Let's kill the Belmont first. I want the Belmont to die. He must die. And he must die hard. Yeah, mistakes were made, exactly. I'm only human. Contrary to belief. <laughs> no? Alright, let's kill Richard. Or Simon. I guess Simon. Bell not got him. Ah, oh, it looks like I need an overhead uh, attack. Fucking shard him. Shard all over him. Or you know what? I have the upgraded version. And he. Oh, I guess I don't. Thought I did. Oh, is he here? There it is. Tepsalorenda. 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 Oh, that's you need a text Morpheus. Now text Lorenda. Oh, Richter, you're so silly. Oh, Simon, you're so dead. Um... Oh, let's have fun. Let's do... I don't like it. Oh, uh, what else we got? Does this reach him? Nope. Oh! <laughs> you thought I was joking about the Belmont? No, it's a little Easter egg, yeah. Even in Warhammer or Starcraft, Marines still use stim packs. <laughs> Yo, is that Simon Taco Belmont? It is? From the famous game series WrestleMania. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. You get a hundred you get a fucking wolf pack point for that. Wow, I thought you were joking about the Belmont. Yeah. I think this is Grant from Castlevania three. No, it's Simon. It's Simon. 
Simone. It's Simone. He gets in, after this. He gets into the giant mech, and he does a Gurren login. <laughs> it's a famous whip guy from the Dracula series, popularizing Dracula one, kill vampire, a classic. Raven Simone Belmont. <laughs> That's so Raven. <laughs> oh my god. Did she ever turn out to be a hottie or did she, she got chunks? I can't remember. Not that I don't like the chunks. I like it. But I can't remember really. <laughs> Alright, let's kill the bitch. We killed one bitch. <clears throat> and the next one is located where is she where is the uh... it's right here right below this so she did not she's on the view I gotcha She's on the view, dear God. <laughs> I mean, who cares this shit? You're right. <laughs> I mean, I don't care if she's chunks. I was thinking, whatever happened to Topanga? Who, who didn't, who was a young kid that didn't have the house for Topanga? What happened to that girl? She was fine. Beautiful. <laughs> the spew. <laughs> hey, keep your spews to yourself. She was beautiful. <laughs> Take away a wolfpack point for that shit. Yeah! Uh, what is this? Arise myself and my shadow. Um, how come it doesn't work? You got a shit move, bro. A shit shard. Mm -hmm. Better. Because why not? Lol. <laughs> if that's worse beautiful, then you take that back. <laughs> it was not fun. Take that lull back. Alright, that's a good spell. Hey, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Bitches. You just need the game. Oh, I should have waited for it. It's gonna help me so much on New Game Plus. You died in one hit. You ain't shit. Here we are. That's where we need to be. Uh, we could go this way. We don't have to worry about it. All right, where is this bitch? Cindy. No, fuck you. I'm keeping my wolf pack point. I didn't. S <laughs> I didn't take away your wolf pack point, Cindy. I would never do such a thing. I took it from Necro. <laughs> okay, how the fuck? Jesus, man. This fucking game. This fucking game.
Use this gay stone, I mean waste stone. You only have one left, Cindy. If you want, you can use that wolf peg point so I can be defeat the last boss uh, wearing toy shoes. Nobody out here always stealing my wolf pack points. Everybody out there? Yep. <laughs> like you're a villain in a serial commercial. <laughs> Everybody get your hands off my wolf pack points. <laughs> Neck roll. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? What am I doing? <laughs> Alright, let's go, Miriam. Let's finish this. Let's finish. Here are the mods, yeah. <laughs> the mods have arrived. Keep everybody honest. <laughs> Die. Right, where's the final fucking fight, bitch? Where is this hope? Is it down here? Oh yeah, I need dimension shift. Dimension shift. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I gotta use it again. God damn it. Let's make a shortcut. And then do the same here. And change this one to dimension shift and then save it as a shortcut. Now we got both. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. Don't mention shit. Dimension Hi Cindy, shift. how are you? Dimension shit. Don't mention shit. Don't mention it. Oh. Alright, here it is. Final boss. Oh, I didn't use the millionaire key. Son of a bitch. Oh well. I don't care about that optional boss. He was going to be as, as easy as... It was going to be as easy as uh, Simon, so... Big deal. Big fucking deal. Dominique! Why don't we stop this nonsense and just make out? Ah, oh, you didn't have to do this. We could have just made out, but okay. It'll be all dramatic. It's a drama queen. So even Grammarie has failed me. Dimension ship. Alfred was afraid of what you <laughs> Sounds like when you shows. have a really bad but questionable relationship with someone from another dimension. <laughs> God damn it. Eagle. Eagle gets a wolf peg point. Cindy says you're doing good. Thank you for asking, hamster. How about you? I'm doing great. I'm doing I'm doing well. Um actually pretty pretty happy because I see the doctor on the 31st and um, hopefully I get taken off these meds I get permission to start driving again and I can go back to work looking forward to that chicks with glasses tend to be like that actually in my experience personal experience the girls that are nerds petite with glasses that look very innocent have been the most wild girls in bed if you ask me for my personal experience they've been the look funnest to be with oh i have you and the Johannes nerdy girls chance, the nerdy ones I might add. what's you, up for them why are you rock your because world once again the demons appeared and once again god I, stays he's getting silent pee what? he's getting pee pee fix soon who's that not me. Son, so I began <laughs> to about with Fifi. <laughs> what if there is no God? <laughs> He's not talking about that. I was talking about uh, 
with my stroke. What if the lo if so? Because the pee -pee. God can rot. I, I keep saying stroke. It's not a stroke. Power. It was a seizure. The power to slay um, God. Do you he's saying that he's saying that I got to go to the doctor about the PP, but no. Whole mess wasn't enough that was a long time ago, when I was 20 years old. Okay. Well, it's PP. Yeah, it's not getting fixed. It's already fucked. I <laughs> just I did have a scare at 20. I was like, oh my god, why do I have a pimple? If the and the doctor was like, nah, it's, it's, it's just a pimple, bro. Smart good. girl. You're so good. I made then Gremory could be. Possess... Ball <sighs> You know what? I never expected to be put in a corner like this. Nobody puts Dominique in a corner. You leave me no choice but God to God damn it, Dominique, when can we just make out? What will happen to you? Oh, maybe in real life, but in anime movies and games, they do be like this. <laughs> it was it Come on, hurry the fuck up. This story, I don't even give a fuck. Inverse. Hey, don't be a bitch, dummy. What's up? Hey, what the fuck are you Just doing, you bro? Ah, this is an awesome Eat this. Oh, Eat some fuego. Some queso flamado. Queso flamadero. Queso flamado. It's pronounced three different ways, but it's the same thing. What the fuck? Or even queso came out. Nobody knows what I'm talking about except for fucking Eagle. <laughs> He's like, everybody's like, what the fuck is Wolfpack even saying? With it, with your shit. Yeah, you're dead, girl. You didn't get shit on me. If she's using that dragon and summon already, she's low on health. Okay. Now, do I have to fight this guy with the same amount of health? I think I do. I might be fucked. What are you talking about purple? Hold on. Let's watch Big Daddy. Hi! Alright, so... Cindy says, wait. Did I get it right? The little hamster pack is purple. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Eagle says, that's another thing. I really didn't stick stick it to me. The story had characters, but Castlevania has decades, so maybe it's just a bias. I think Necro can also decipher the language. Um, it's about the... Yeah, I mean, the story is just... It might even be good. There's lots of little pieces of lore, but in this type of game, I just want to play the fucking Metroidvania. I just want to fill in the map. I really don't care about story. Uh, that being said, I probably would have carried, cared about the story if it was something that grabbed me, but it really didn't, so. Yeah, Necro says, yeah, these characters are stupid and the story just sucks. Yeah, it, it wasn't compelling in any way. Uh, you pretty much figured it out. Giebel's being used by a darker power. You know, basically it. Now, Cindy, what are you talking about? Hansterback being purple. I'm not purple. I'm kind of fucked. Yeah, I'm fucked. But let's try anyway. 
I mean, I got to save. Who cares? All right. Let's go. Wait, Cindy says, you don't like stupid characters, Necro? Eagle says, exactly. Maybe less characters, less dialogue, and less genericness. Yeah. Nah, Cindy, these ones are just especially Garbo. Yeah, like... Um... How about this? I didn't finish, um... Hollow Knight. Pretty hard game. But I did like the way they just fed you the story here and there. Not necessarily through dialogue, but just the environment and little pieces of info. As opposed to, let's just stop the game. Let's have two uh, JPEGs or PNGs of the same still image talk to each other back and forth. Back and forth. Um, I'd rather that it was. Uh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Thousand HP now. They work. This is I mean I can make it work, it's just gonna eight thousand HP, what the fuck? Oh, they all got individual HP. God damn it. Not gonna happen. And if it does happen, it's just gonna take way too fucking long. I'm dead or either way. I don't even think this weapon's gonna do it. Alright. Let's load up on health and we're good. Nah, Cindy, these ones are just especially Garbo. Hollow Knight was fantastic. It was, uh, but as I was playing something else at that time, and as soon as it got a little bit hard, I, I wasn't in that mood at that time to, how do you say this, to get good. I just wanted to play an easy game at that point. But yeah, the combat on in Hollow Knight was spot on. If you died, it was your fault. It's so responsive. Cindy says she had such an awesome, awesome game with stupid characters for me. Toy shoes? Did you lose? No. Uh, I had already said even before Cindy, even before you stopped by, I had said I was going to give an attempt at the last boss with squeaky shoes. So you still got your, uh, your point. Anybody remember Braid? I remember hearing a lot about it. Uh, I remember hearing that it's a gem. I remember hearing that it's got a cool ending, um, that it's a great puzzle game. 
Uh, the art style didn't do anything for me from what I saw, but I, you know, that that really doesn't matter. Uh, it had pieces of story in every level, but the ending was crazy. Necro says Braid was wild. Yeah, the uh, ending was spoiled for me uh, by someone, uh, which is fine. Um, I'm sure I'd still like the gameplay, but um, yeah. All right, so what I gotta do now? is I do have to get my food yeah I gotta get food and um, eth uh, magic uh, replenishment so use another waystone <clears throat> be right back no problem what about outer wilds I've been hearing a lot about how that game can blow my mind and I haven't uh, spoiled myself on that one either. Also, I am on the last part oh, hello, from fighting um, what can I do um, for you today? Stoat in uh, inscription, so that's probably going to blow my mind. Oh, we shall see. What would you like to buy? Hi, Ether. Look, we need to get high. Is this right? Oh, thank you. I'm out of money. Oh, what so we're going like to sell. I don't need these at all. Is this oh, thank you. Um, even Red Remembrance. Well, we'll sell that. Here you are. We have eight thousand. We're good. I don't need Constitution augmented. Wait, um, actually, that goes to level. No, it doesn't. Is this what? Oh, thank you. What the fuck is this? No. This is just boring. I thought it was gonna be good, but is it's not. Right? We got plenty of business. money. Fuck. Oh, what would you like to buy? Outer Wilds is a beautiful game. Okay. Is that the hat of D? Your reign, Vampire Hunter D? No, it's um, it's just a hat. Well, it kind of is. It kind of is a Vampire Hunter D hat if you got rid of the roses and the thorns. Are they roses? Oh, wait. The roses are from my hair. Why does the girl sound like Belle Delphine? I don't know. I haven't really heard Belle Delphine's voice that much. Oh, hello, miss. Um, what can I do for you today? What would you like to buy? Yeah, I haven't heard Bill Delphine's voice very much, so I couldn't tell you. Um, I need food. Mmm, food. Like a pork cutlet. Let me Is take three of those. Some chowder. New England clam business? chowder. Uh, Curry is a good healer. Is this pleasure doing business? Is this call? Thank you. I should get more money then. Oh, what would you like to say? Cause. Is this call? Thank you. You can never have enough food. Is it pleasure doing business? Is this what? So, what will it be? Guys, I'm gonna have to take a break. That possum that I you. caught in the trap. He doesn't want to shut up and just go to sleep. He's up there just making fucking noise inside that trap. So I'm going to go grab him. Uh, put him outside. So I can take care of him in the morning. Uh, why does girl sound like Bill Delphine? Jump to Tark. The one that's like a Fallout game. No, no, no. Um... Not like the Fallout game. That you're thinking about Outer Worlds. Outer Wilds is a, an exploration game, I believe, with a premise where a Groundhog's Day on you. I don't know, like that's and as far as I understand, that's not a spoiler. Knowing that a Groundhog Day's on you, um, the spoiler is actually more esoteric uh, than that. Uh, but yeah, that's what that game is. I need to explore that game soon. 
It looks like a great game. Is this Paul? Thank you. Uh, what else can I sell? Um, let's sort this by the val value. Let's see what we got. Uh, work. Oh, what would you like to sell? By value. Does it have to be two? Okay, so Kashmir, Cyprus. We're gonna sell some Cyprus. Let's sell about 15 of them. Is it all? Thank you. Silk, we'll sell about 14 of them. Is it here you are? We got 75,000. Fuck. Oh, what would you like to buy? Mmm, food. How about that? Nine beef curries, we're good. Is it pleasure doing business? Yeah, these curries are, are good for health. Is this Paul? Thank you. We're good, we're good. We've won the game. Let's see here. Tark says, I mean, it's a little bit of a spoiler. Um, it is, but from what I understand, it's it's the crux mechanic of the game, but the 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 game that's that is worth playing is the exploration. So even in knowing that, it really doesn't spoil the experience you're gonna have. In from what I understand, the experience is more um, essential than, or not essential, more satisfying than the actual mechanic itself. Hi, Miriam. I might not have to take a break. Sounds like that possum. A possum just shut the fuck up and said, You know what? I'm not getting what out of this case tonight. Let me go to sleep. So we're good on that. Alright, this bitch needs to upgrade our. Fucking don't have emeralds? How is that shit? Give me emeraldes. That's bronze. I have nothing to dismantle. Oh shit, no I don't. That feeling when you have your last cigarette, you smoked your last smoke. Uh, hold on, everybody. Possums are misunderstood little guys. Eh. The game is an experience, a great one. I gotta play it. Yeah, I've heard only good things. Tark says, uh, Eagle says you love possums. Oh man. Uh, to me, they're dirty. They're very, very dirty. They're a very dirty animal. A nuisance. Um, but, from what I understand, possums are different in different places. The possums we have here are nasty motherfuckers. Big, ugly sons of bitches that will fight a fucking dog and fight a cat before they play possum. Um, I've seen on the internet different possums that are pretty much clean and look like little fucking weird puppies. 
<laughs> uh, Pop says what misunderstood the little guys. I would say that. Um, people think that all possums are gross. I, um, there are some, I'm sure, that are quite docile and maybe have a pretty coat, but not the ones here, I'll tell you that. Think possums just a big rat? Yeah, pretty much. It's a big rat with a big fucking tail. Uh, they stink. They're very dirty. Badgers and wolverines. I would say an opossum's like a rat, like a big rat, a big rodent. I read cat for some reason. <laughs> nah. um, now I gotta play it. Last game I really had an experience was the Ashes 2063 mod for Doom 2, and it was a while. Yeah, it, it sounds like a great game that I will like. They eat ticks, well, they do, uh, but I don't have a tick problem. <laughs> so, you know. No issues with ticks, you know. Either on my animals or on my property. So, the uh, benef the uh, dirtiness outweighs the benefit. Must be like the dock rats versus house rats. Ex exactly. Um, Necro says, I like my porch possums. I like the my cats like the porch possums. I don't like the specifically call it to eat dinner with them. Oh wow. You see those are different. I'm telling you. Um, the possums that you see here, they ain't possums where you wanna go, Oh, come here. No. <laughs> These fuckers are no. These are very dirty animals, they'll rip up anything that they can find and make a nest out of it. Shit everywhere. Get in your walls, get in your house when it gets cold. They use your house for places under your house for and they breed like hell. And they live in shit. You know. Uh but it's exactly like that, like a dock rat. It's because like I said, our city is full of waterways or rasacos, rasacos as they call them. Um Res uh, like a water reservoir, exactly. Um, because, yeah. Um, uh, dismantle. No emeralds, wow. Wow. I think we got enough, though. Oh, I can make apple risotto. This. Sweet. And I'm gonna eat it right away. Great. Yeah. Stop. That's a permanent increase. Of, look, 40 Delicious. HP, just like that. Nice. We win. Game over. Smoke a bullet. <laughs> All right. Everyone, y'all know my rules. Just be nice to each other, be kind, and smoke if you got them. Uh, let's see, let's equip. Well, I think we've equipped everything we need. You know what? Instead of that, we can go. Because I don't think it's going to matter. Because I'm mostly going to be using. You know what? If we're going to use it, we're going to use this weapon. Necro says, now we got the gross, ugly ones, too. Okay. 
but they eat ticks, so I let them be. I got you. You see, what you grow, uh, well, in your area, Necro, what y'all have is y'all do have livestock. So ticks are something. I'll get it one second. Those ticks are something you have to take into consideration. I, I don't have livestock, so it's a different story. But I can see that. I can see if you got goats, you got pigs, you got cows, you got fawns, you got, not fawns, but, um, little heifers. Yeah, you do gotta worry about ticks, because on a nasty scale, <laughs> I'd rather have possums than ticks. Ticks are absolutely disgusting. Just like, uh, what did we see the other day, Cindy? What was it in that level? Leeches. Oh my god, that fucking Evil West level was gross. Nothing but leeches everywhere. Eagle says, I can't imagine they're wild animals after all. Yep. Yeah, we had rats the size of small dogs in Mayport. And they are verminous little bastards, yeah. I like to believe the Skaven were inspired by rats like those. Eagle says, Soton had an ex excessive amount of inventory but this is another level of abundance it's almost like Final Fantasy or Tales of X level way too much it is it is at, but here's what they did that was kind of brilliant you don't have to get into any crafting to beat this game you can beat this game with zero crafting at all um, you don't have to in even uh, engage uh, with uh, where are my scissors you don't even have to engage with the upgrade system or even the shard system um, yeah you, you can you can get that done you can beat the whole game without it but it's there it's there in case you want to interact with it uh, where are my scissors? Jesus! One si oh, here they are. Yeah, it's there if you want to interact with it. Which is good. I, I never felt like I had to slog through the menus or anything like that. I did it upon choice. So that's where I think this game does excel. Like finding all these special weapons, crafting all these special weapons, upgrading them with the 8-bit and 32-bit coins, getting your shards all the way to level 9 all of those things you really don't have to do to beat the game the first time um, maybe new game plus uh, might have you do a little bit more strengthen one of them see I'm strengthening a lot of stuff I strengthened a lot of shards I strengthened a lot of spells and a lot of weapons I could have just you know spent my time upgrading tests uh, Tess Opius and uh, Words of Wisdom and that's it beat the game you know Words of Wisdom lowers your MP cost sometimes it's zero Tess Opius is the thunder uh, attack that hits everywhere with a thunder ring you win the game you know or a fire ring with uh, Inferno Blast either way that's how it is so I think I think that works better I think that works better than have or making you interact with all these different mechanics. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you get to drink fresh milk? Can you make your own butter, whipped cream, or mozzarella? That's a good question, Eagle. I mean, I I don't I wouldn't drink pa unpasteurized milk. But I'm assuming it probably tastes better. City rats and dock rats can get stupid big. Yes, they can. Those sound dangerous. Yes, they do. <laughs> I have milked my heifers a couple of times, made butter. The breed I raise is pretty easy going. It just don't use the milk for much and really don't have time to sell it. Yeah. I mean, at one point, you got to think about the diminishing returns of milking your own cows for milk um, the labor versus the accessibility of pasteurized milk you gotta think about those at one point 
even though it might taste a little better at one point is it that much better to where you're gonna spend that extra four hours milking two heifers you know I'm just using an example I wouldn't know how long it takes to mix milk a heifer see you hear it yeah I sure did catch a possum oh yeah Final Fantasy 6 and Final Fantasy 7 had that mechanic of leveling up the espers to get more magic spells and also uh, eight with the junction system you can junction some pretty good spells with the steel mechanic uh, to get pretty OP spells right away like you can junction death to a weapon and every time that weapon hits it's a high percentage chance of just automatically causing death necro says pretty easy got an automatic milker oh okay pasteurizing milk takes no effort at all it's just boiling it isn't it just don't use much milk going somewhere to sell it is just something I do when you have time to do okay oh well, you don't have time to do makes sense there's only so many hours in the day and at the end are you gonna do four hours of work or four hours of sitting there and hopefully selling milk uh, I'm assuming you got ready buyers people willing to buy automatically All right, let's kill the millionaire. We skipped this out last time. Let's kill it. I think this is the slot machine I'm fighting. I can't remember what enemy this is. Oh, it's the girl. Oh no, it's the slot machine. Wasn't even prepared. Arise, my shadow, my shadow. <laughs> and look, I'm using Infernal Breath. It's grade one, rank one, and it's still killing everything. With my MP and my intelligence and constitution and my regular upgrades. Still hitting for 89 every shot, look at that. You know, we're gonna win this just no matter how much it hurts. Bitch! Red beans and right so. Next time I gotta remember nothing but beef curry. Bollocks. One, easy. Jackpot. Wrong way. Ow. Now, Corsairs could probably make some money if I hooked up with somebody who wanted to buy a steady supply. I gotcha. But there's already plenty of people. Yeah, I would. I would think all the uh, mid to small size uh, farms already have that market set up. Eagle, uh, Genesis Tark says, Eagle, I don't know about dangerous. I mean, they act like rats, so lots of creeping around for food, mostly for the fish on the dock, so they, they can get rabies, start acting crazy. Yeah, yeah they're very dirty animals. That's the thing. I understand animals need to survive, but at one point, we have to be practical and, and understand which animals are nuisance, nuisances, and if they're not endangered, you know, do uh, small eradications it sounds horrible and cruel but it's just honestly the way it should be uh, let's see here. what am I doing not there idiot glacial tomb there we go 
Oh, go Gov! All of a sudden, I all of a sudden I turn. What is it? Bring English? British? Calling people Gov? Hey, Gov! Governor? See one of those driving hats? Hey, Gov! Fuck off. Alright, we win this. We only use one health potion. Yeah, we're good. I mean, one elixir. I don't think we use health potions. Fuck off. Beat the game. Again. Pet rats are cute. House rats can be cute. Most of the dock rats I've seen are not so much. Mm. I can see a, maybe a house rat, small little house rat puppy. Because mice, honestly, are kind of cute. Mice don't aren't, they don't look horrible. They got the big ears compared to the body. Saved at the wrong safe spot, but it's all right. We're almost there. Anyway. Ah, dimension shift. 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 Don't mention shit. It stays between me and you. Here we go. Have you ever seen a rat king? He thinks it's possible that many rats can tangle up like that. I haven't seen it, but I, 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 I do believe it because they do get their tails in a bunch, and if they overbreed like that, they're and and it's not necessarily like there's one rat that's the king. It's just the term for that bundle of rats. It's fucking gross. And and you gotta understand, creatures can tangle them fucking selves up together. Like you ever see two dogs that fucking can't separate. So animals can do that. Uh, so I'm not too sure. I wouldn't be able to definitively say yes or no. Is the Rat King a myth? Have you ever seen a Rat King? I've heard it explained. Sounds horrible. I'm glad to have been spared the experience of witnessing one in person. Yeah. I'm not too sure, Cindy. Um, I would think that, uh, just using my common sense, I would think there's a possibility of it existing. Uh, I don't think it's that far-fetched. Because animals do get stuck. Mammals. Whether it be sexual or not, they do get they are known to get stuck. Um, if you look online, there's also a gross uh, something they found in the New York subway. It looks like a fucking something out of a video game. It was a huge blob inside the subway. And that whole blob was moving around. Like it was pulsating. What it was was a bundle of worms that became one fucking thing. Like, it was a known thing. Just something you don't see every day. It was fucking gross. Wolfpad becomes ultimate cryptid hunting channel <laughs> in search of the Rat King. <laughs> Go look for a squash. We have a team of experts. We have D. Necro Swanson, X squash hunter and chupacabra expert. We have the gentle Tark. Of Apparently, he's seen Bat Boy at least seven times. <laughs> we have our skeptic. And why is he a skeptic? Because he said, it might be wrong. <laughs> yes, you've seen that blob video, Cindy? It is gross. It is. They were grosser than those slugs in Evil West. Uh, look it up, guys. It's it's a gross blob. 
Oh my god, it looks like something straight out of a movie or video game. You're looking at it, it looks otherworldly. Even the people filming it, like the uh, workers, they were like, oh shit, look at this shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Bonus points if you can find the giant rat that makes all the all of the rules. <laughs> That's a true rat king, and that that actually exists, but only in the Ninja Turtles cartoon, huh? If you remember that episode, there was a rat king in various cartoons. Who remembers the mo uh, and, and TV? Uh, who remembers the movie Willard? Stars uh, McFly from. Uh, Back to the Future, I forget his name. Um, yeah, he plays Wizard, a guy that can control rats. Willard! Ah, I can't, his name is on the tip of my tongue. Can't think. You know what? So even I gotta find out his name. Me. It, it's Alfred something that's just of what you could on do the tip the of my tongue, and I can't. But not I. Uh, let's see here. <coughs> Actor. Fly. Crisp. Uh, I came to my head. Crispin Glover. Yeah. Willard was that. It was a good movie. It was shot well, wasn't it, Necro? I mean, it was. Cine cinematography was good in that. It was very competent. The story was fine. It, it was an overall good movie. Doesn't get any praise at all, but it was a good movie. I think there are old-time pictures of Rat King photos of baby rat skeletons tangled. I think there are first-hand accounts of Rat Kings, like, um, tangles like that. I just don't know how long much has been photographed. But, um, scientists talk about it as it is... <sighs> well, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to cough in your ear. Something that has been has happened and has been recorded <coughs> so sorry <coughs> look at you is that i have yeah you. willard was a good movie <coughs> it was excellent nothing wrong with it Do you i had told everybody i rewatched uh, falling me. down uh, recently Ooh, now that's a movie inverse. falling down yeah. is one hell of a movie Okay, I can't do it from here. She, she starts teleporting, so I can't do it upside down. That's fine. I got plenty of healing. Dominique looks like a spanker anyway. Really? Dominique? You're gonna do this to me, Dominique. You're gonna make me eat Kari. I don't need to go to the restaurant. Dominique, stop, please. See, most of these uh, enemies can be beaten with, like, down attack, strong weapons, and just tanking, tanking, no uh, hits. More like Dimbanique got her! <laughs> Dominique! So oh, that's indeed, that makes sense. Dominique, like she's dim. I would have thought Dominique, but Dominique works. Yeah, he spells good. Yeah, he meant Dim Dominique. Dumb. Dumbanique. Dominique Wilkins. Only Necrolus, who that is. Maybe Evil. Same work. 
How about right here? this fucker have let's put on the gauge glasses oh that guy only has 5,590 that's okay this guy only has 7,000 well fuck me Morpheus for a little bit. This guy's only got four thousand. Hello there. So they go off screen when they hit four thousand? No, it's right there. Shit, I was about to die. Give me that curry. Gotta go, Eagle. God, I'm I'm so skilled. I'm fighting this enemy. Um, smoking Reaper and Reaper at the same time. I got shield and multiply. Can I lose? I give you death. You gotta shape up. Cause I need a man. And my heart is down. Come on, blah, blah. Only us old people know that song. Alright, this is just going to be a battle of attrition. We got this. Okay, let's see here. Got to catch some sleep. See you soon. Later, Eagle. Good night. See ya. Alright. Saw the blob vid. Yeah, pretty gross, right? Tark says, I think I saw one from North Carolina anyway. Bunch of worms. Looks like the Lek Golo from Halo. Yeah, it is. It's gross, isn't it, Turk? Yeah, Cindy says. Yeah, it, it is. It looks like its own fucking entity. It, it's just nasty. Like if you saw that and you didn't have any prior knowledge that it was a bunch of worms, you would think that that's fucking outerworldly. It, it was pretty nasty. It's just like that pulsating and it being f being filled with tissue and and parts and, and fluids that are pulsating so gross so gross but very cool that our, our you know our world you know houses and can our conditions can create something like that people say that you know earth still has fucking wild discoveries uh, that are already discovered but the major population doesn't know about things like this like wow isn't the earth amazing isn't our world amazing it pretty it pretty it pretty much is it's pretty great this world continues to fascinate us now even in an age of mass information available 
You've seen weirder and grosser things, but yeah, still gross. Do share. Do share, Tark. Do share. Sharing is caring. <laughs> Purge it with fire. I'm with you, Cindy. Like a big slime mold, yeah. For once, I agree with you, Cindy. Kill it with fire. <laughs> um, yeah, do share, Tark. Look up uh, Goblin Shark. Goblin Shark is a thing. Now, I used to hold the position. I used to hold this position. I'd tell people, go look at a Goblin Shark and tell me it isn't frightening. Now, I get one of two responses. Holy shit, you're right. That is fucking terrifying. Or, oh my god, that thing looks so dumb, it made me laugh. I am not scared of it one bit. <laughs> so you'll either have one of two responses. You'll be either like, oh fuck, goblin sharks are real and that's fucking scary. Or, look at that thing. That thing is so fucking derpy, I wouldn't be scared of that. <laughs> so you get two reactions that you... And either one, those reactions tell you whether you're straight or gay. It's proven. <laughs> oh my god. I've seen a pelican filled with parasites. Nasty. We pulled a fish out of its mouth and it was covered in these weird fat maggot things. I just looked up the goblin shark. That dude looked dope as fuck, you see? <laughs> for once, question. For the win, hamster pack. Angry face. What are you talking? Why are you mad, Cindy? I don't understand you. Let's say, was that statement you being mad or for once saying something right? I cannot decipher your code. Cindy says, you've seen the goblin shark, it looks stupid. <laughs> you see, you're either going to have one or the other uh, reaction. I've known people that say, like, oh my god, that's terrifying. Uh, but then again, I've known lots of people that say, oh, that looks just, that just looks dumb. <laughs> I think the more you look at it, the stupid, stupider it looks. You can tell that it's a close picture and they're not very big. You can tell that the things that look like teeth are like... Not necessarily teeth, but they're just shaped that way. And are probably brittle. Uh, but yeah, the ocean, like deep sea creatures. They got some pretty freaky stuff there too. I like watching those videos. Of deep sea fucking animals. Looks like it's gonna star opposite of Owen Wilson in a movie about talking sharks. <laughs> okay, I see, Cindy. For once, you agree with me, but that makes you mad. <laughs> okay, I get it now. <laughs> You're angry at yourself that you agree with me. Makes sense. I'd be mad if I agreed with Wolfpack too. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we're down to 3,000 on that guy. 8,000! You can stand there and take it, okay. You bitch. I was gonna get some squeaks in. You know what? This is for you, Cindy. You leave me no choice. Shut up, Dominique. Seven thousand. Uh, gotta eat that curry. Gonna be going to the restroom later, but it's curry. You yeah, like curry? I like curry. Curry's good. Is he eating himself? 
Didn't he have 3,000? Oh, this guy has 3,000. Hashtag squeak it up. Hashtag fuck you, Dominique. to hit like this? Maybe? And that's because I haven't, haven't even upgraded boots all the way. Alright, we got some, we got some hits in. We don't want this to be a... Uh, long battle longer than it needs to be because it's just going to be more of the same um, flying age might work in this situation but let's just go overall DPS mother weapon hits for 200 so where is the bitch oh here it is Myself and my shadow. Yeah, yeah. Why doesn't it hit? Me? There we go. You see, it's at four thousand now. It was at three thousand a bit, a bit ago. So what the fuck, game? Fifteen hundred, fourteen, eighty, eight hundred, four hundred. You there? Hashtag dethrone. Hashtag easy game. Have I seen the blobfish? Yeah, I've I seen that one. The one with the big nose? I think that's the one with the big nose. Uh, four months are you the... The goblin shark definitely looks wild. It does. Dominique. Tark says the deep sea has always fascinated so me. Good. Yep. Can't get enough of those weird creatures. Same as me, man. They, they're, they're just so cool. Love me some curry. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's good. It's good. It's got that powerful taste. You know what I mean? Like uh, a really strong flavor. Like I've eaten different dishes of like seafood. Oh, it kind of tastes like this dish, but with this. Oh, that tastes like this, but with a little bit of this. Curry is its own thing. Like, it's got its own base, its own fucking flavor, and it's powerful, and it's strong, and it's good. It's got lots of flavor. Yes, get Shrek, your time is all gray. So we won. Now. I'm skipping the end cutscene. Yes, curry is unique. It's its own flavor profile. That's why you're not just eating pork, you need curry with pork or curry with rice it's 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 like a universal I like tiki masala a bit more than curry I haven't had uh, tiki masala um, I've heard a lot of good news about it though it's like a cream uh, based thing right I believe so I might be thinking of something wrong I love food different kinds of food. There isn't one culture's food where I've been like, oh, that's gross. Indian curry and Japanese curry are a bit different. I haven't had anything um, Japanese curry. Sure, it has a lot of turmeric in it. You see, I gravitated towards it because here in this uh, area, in this region of Hispanics, we use a lot of turmeric. We love turmeric here. We call it tamarindo. Eagle would know. Eagle's from Mexico. Um, yes, tamarindo is so good. We have a tamarindo with... We sell it all over the place. 
and I don't see it anywhere else. What it is, it's a paste made from the uh, turmeric plant, and you can eat it like a snack. It's a mushy snack, and they roll it up into a log. I'm not going to lie, it looks like a log of shit. <laughs> but it's turmeric, uh, uh, tamarindo, and what it is, it's got that really nice sweet profile. You just add a little bit of salt to it, fucking great. Uh, we eat a lot of turmeric here. Uh, let's see. Never had Japanese curry. Thought that was what you was talking about. Shit. Kurikino. <laughs> uh, no, we're talking about, like, uh, not Japanese curry, but, like, just curry. Um. Like, yeah, Indian curry. I, the fucking region lost my brain for a second. Uh, Indian curry. And tikka masala is from Malaysia. Okay. Hmm, sounds pretty good. Indian curry is pretty good. Japanese style is the best. I haven't had that. I gotta look into that. I was thinking about doing a cooking channel too. Like, cooking for gamers. Like, uh, Emily had did one time, but it was... Like, not really cooking. It's like, keto fries and add cheese. <laughs> oh. Because I like to cook, and I think a lot of guys just don't know, like, a lot of basic things. Like, I've seen guys cook, and they really don't even know how to dice an onion. They don't know how to cook clean, you know. Just basic things that guys I see don't do. Like, to clean as you go. Um, to be clean while you're cooking. Yay, it's over. Thank God, right? It was already getting to me. And come on, how hard were these, uh... Cooking with hamster pack, yes. <laughs> because I see, I see younger guys, and they're cooking for themselves, and it's just sad. Like, come on, guys, y'all... You can eat good and, and take care of yourself, and... You know, women love that. You can feed a woman a good meal that you made? Shit. Talk to us. Haven't had curry in a little over a year. I haven't had it that much either. It's been a while. Followed a pretty simple recipe. Turned out pretty good. My family didn't care for it. Yeah, I mean, even like especially the older generations, they don't gravitate towards change that much because change wasn't necessarily available back then like it is today. Today we have the opportunity to look online and pick any recipe from any part of the country. Back then, all they had were the cookbooks available to them and the cookbooks that they could find <coughs> based on other countries. Uh, we have a, that extra opportunity. And since that demographic didn't have that opportunity, they have been stuck in the same food prof profile for so long uh, their palates aren't um, willing to accept a different uh, flavor profile as for us you know we grew up with the internet we, we get we got to see recipes for from everywhere much gusto and welcome back to cooking with hamster pack <laughs> Tonight we're cooking up some sick tortas and some tamarated por los <laughs> the rat king. Por los rat kings. Por los reyes, de, uh, you would say that reyes de rata. Our king is uh, el rey, el rey, E-L-R-E-Y. <laughs> yeah, a guy who can cook is hot. Yeah, uh, I mean, there's lots of women who like, and enjoy that. They enjoy a man that can be assertive take care of themselves make make a meal that's not only like uh, you know any guy make anybody can make a meal but making a meal that's actually you give them a plate that doesn't look like mush you give them a plate that looks clean and your 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 food is there on clean like you take pride in your aesthetics and how your food looks 
Uh, I take a lot of pride on that. When I plate a, f a, <coughs> uh, plate a dinner or a plate food for someone, I take a lot of care and make sure it's, it's not slopped on there when I give it to a girl. They appreciate that. They appreciate the effort. They appreciate, and if you can be clean, they can look over to your kitchen and see that that kitchen is not all torn up, fucking food all over the, the, the sink, food all over the floor, um, dishes just piled up. If you clean as you go and they see, God damn, I got this great meal and I see that, and this person can take care, this man can take care of himself like a man, he can be clean about it without somebody telling him to be clean. Women respect that, you know. Because they do it. They do it. They know uh, it, it takes a little bit of effort to get that done. And they appreciate you doing it for them. And not just throwing them something, whatever you can, in front of them. Alright, so, come on, game. You can do it. You can do it. Let's go. We can get these credits to roll. Come on, hurry up. All right, once these credits are done, what do y'all think? Um, presentation. Presentation. Um, what do you think? Um, evil, uh, evil West? Or I start learning Tekken. Oh, is that true, Necro? Is it rude of me to cut the credits off? I mean, I'm streaming, but I'm not the star of this stream. It, it, I owe all of this stream to the game and you guys. So it, let me ask you that. Do you think it's disrespectful? They are billions. I don't have it yet, Cindy. I'll get it, though. I'll get it after... Um, I finish inscription. How about that? I'll play that one for you. I remember there was one game uh, where because of the Kickstarter support uh, being in them, it was multiple hours long. Wow. I'll give it a minute or so. Uh, we'll see what we get. But is, is that disrespectful? I mean, in your opinion. There are billions. Do you think that pl that play good on console though? It seems like a PC game to me. But I'll, I'll get it. Yeah, definitely. Um, what about uh, Disco Elysium? That's something we can have fun with. And you also uh, recommended that one to me, or somebody did from this group. Uh, because I just finished Bloodstained, so I can technically take on one game uh, from scratch. I, 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 King of the Fat, bless his soul, he's been wanting me to do Maneater uh, for such a long time. And, ah, good kid, and I got him. I, I, Maneater came to game uh, PlayStation Plus, and I, and I told him, yeah, Maneater's here, I'm going to play it for you. Uh, turns out, Maneater's only available as a streaming game. And it doesn't let me stream the game and stream to YouTube at the same time. So, uh, yeah, I gotta, I'm gonna take on another game for him instead. He hasn't told me what he wants. I remember there was a game. Okay, it's okay on the PS4, but I think the controls are a bit messed up. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Um, but there are billions. I looked at the the screenshots and I looked at the. Uh, the requirements uh, they're outside of my PC specs but my PC has run stuff like that before no problem I know that there's lots of things working at once as far as um, individuals like attacking your settlements but it seems like one of those games that's optimized to that point to where it they, they got that to run smooth and are using a method that doesn't eat up resources. I could be wrong, you know, but I'll check it out. Because my, my, honestly, my PC surprises me sometimes. It, it'll play things that I, I had no idea. I didn't think it was going to play at all. 
it'll play things that are way outside of its uh, specs. So I can check that out too. Mine is no problem. It's pretty cheap. Yeah, skip the credits. Okay. Oh look, it ended by itself. Thank you guys. Thank you Bloodstained for this terrific game. Alright guys, I'm going to end this uh, here. I don't think it'll make me close the stream. Uh, so give me a second. I'll start up the... Uh, shit, I never decided. <laughs> what do we start up? Uh, okay, three, three choices. Disco Elysium, Tekken 7, or... You're going to go to bed? Good night, Necro. Don't let those ticks bite. And don't let those possums eat you alive. Other than that, have a good night. <laughs> so we got uh, Disco Elysium. Uh, continue. Evil West, a.k.a. The Legend of Jim Bob, Jimmy Bob, and the Adventures of His Jimmy Bob Mullet. Or hat. Um, or we can start Tekken 7. Uno, dos, tres. Tenemos tres opciones. We've got three options. I can do also a... You see, I don't want to do just cooking, like in general. Cooking for gamers. Because <laughs> I know a lot of gamers that just... Nerds. And they don't think they can get girls. They don't think, you know, they're worth it. They don't think they can go up to a girl and ask them out. They don't think they can be charming. But in actuality, they're already that. They just have to be themselves and not be afraid to be themselves. Um, like, I want to do stuff like that. Like, how to cook for gamers. How to, uh, I don't know, how to, you know, top 10 things w women will appreciate, like, you know, keeping your car clean, being a clean person, uh, you know, being groomed. Things that a lot of gamers don't do. Like, hey, you know, do this. You'll feel better about yourself. And that in turn will help, you know, other people see you in a different light. You know. How to bathe regularly. Not how to. <laughs> but the fact that you need to. You know. I ain't gonna about to tell people <laughs> how to bathe. <laughs> uh, but that's that's just i I'm not gonna do that either, uh, Tark. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do givens which should be already done, you know. I ain't gonna say you need to brush your teeth and you need to bathe. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> oh, but I'm gonna be like, you know what? I'm not gonna say, oh uh, shave your balls, manscape, you know. Uh, that's all stuff you should know with your own fucking head. I'm talking about, you know, ways to cook, things to cook that aren't going to, you know, that anybody can do, not just a cook, but a gamer can do, anybody can do, and still taste good. You know, how to balance your finances, what are good, some good options for, you know, saving money, just things like that. Because I see a lot of people struggling in that department, <clears throat> and they don't have to. They can have a good balance of being a dork, and there's nothing wrong with being a dork. Like, there's nothing wrong about liking games. There's nothing wrong about liking things like electronics and, and science and things like that that typically aren't seen as a cool thing to like. The world is full of different people. <clears throat> and different women like whatever you see on TV isn't a real example <laughs> of the actual women that are in real life and if you go chasing that perfect 10 that you see on TV you're gonna be constantly disappointing yourself and you're gonna be constantly feeling that you're not worth it what you need to do is look for people in real life and enjoy the differences people have you know what would be the point if every girl looked like a 10 out of 10? That would suck. They'd all fucking look the same and it'd be boring. Tiddy says, just take care of yourself, be yourself, 
That's all <coughs> what counts for me at least. Exactly. Exactly. Unapologetically be yourself. Uh, you know how I make these corny jokes? It's just me being me. And I'll make those corny jokes. And if a girl doesn't like it that I like, guess what? She wasn't right for me. <laughs> Don't go chasing that because you are being yourself and she doesn't like yourself. So go with a girl that likes yourself who appreciates you for being you. If you do that, things will be great. You know, you'll be in good relationships. All right, let me change the game. I don't think it'll kick anybody out. Um, one second.